Stepping into the Kia Rio for the first time, the first thing I noticed is how roomy inside is. Even though it has a small footprint on the outside, in here is actually pretty nice. There is too much hard plastics on the door though, I have to admit that. Now if I were to put the seat all the way back, now I have room as is now, but if I were to put the seat all the way back, I could actually stretch my legs all the way out. No problem, none whatsoever. Now let's go to the back and see how it is. Now with these seats, how it is currently, it's gonna be kind of tight but if you put this top half of the seat up about an inch or two you know not, not much because no one drives with their seat reclined all that much anyway if there are people in the back you can fit at least two adults in the back here comfortably now you could put three in a pinch but i wouldn't recommend planning trips with three people constantly because the middle passenger would be very uncomfortable now stepping into the driver's seat now Again, the first thing I have to note is how well built this vehicle is. The dash is well laid out. The screen doesn't look like an afterthought. It actually looks like they designed the dash with the screen in mind and how it's going to fit there. Because, you know, sometimes with the newer vehicles, with this tablet style display, it looks like they built the dash and then realized, okay, we forgot something and just stuck a tablet on the screen. This one actually looked like it was well built and it was built with that infotainment system in mind. Now, let's check the driving dynamics. You're driving on the road, a dog runs out in front of you or you have to pull from a car or whatever. How does the Kia Rio handle that? Well, surprisingly really well. You turn from left to right, you get back in lane and the car doesn't complain. The suspension doesn't complain. The tires just go. Wherever the front goes, the back follows. That is something I can really appreciate. Because again, with some vehicles, you try to pull away from a hazard on the roadway and you try to pull back in lane and the back just does not want to comply. Now when it comes to road noise, road noise is actually also pretty well. I would say best in class. Listen to this. But you know, there's no getting around it. The Kia Rio has a small engine. After all, it's a pretty small car. But at no point in time, would I be uphill, would I be merging, accelerating, have I wondered this car, where, where is the power? This car needs some more power. Kia actually knew what they were doing when they made it this transmission with this engine. This car also has Tiptronic by the way, so you can shift into semi-manual. You can't overdo it, it's not pure manual, but you can shift up and down a few seconds before the computer would normally do it in automatic mode. Now, let's look at a real world scenario. You're coming out of somewhere and you have to merge onto the highway. Let's see how it handles this. For example, coming out from my PC gas station onto the highway. Let's see how it handles There's it. There's traffic oncoming, it's clear, and you... Yeah, really well, really well. You know, I'm already up to this guy here. You know, so that's because, you know, some cars, they're just dead. You're trying to come out of a spot like that and your foot right down and you're not going anywhere. That could cause an accident. So it's really nice to know that your car could get up and move when you need it to. One thing that surprised me with the Kia Rio for a car in this price point is how responsive the touchscreen is. There's no lag, none whatsoever. Look, none whatsoever. You touch something and it responds right away. Now, while on the topic of this infotainment system, you won't want for anything. Granted, this is a fully loaded model of the Kia Rio, but it comes packed. There's auxiliary, there's USB, there's Bluetooth, there's even Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, something even more high-end vehicles, high-end luxury brands are now adding in as an added feature. This car has it and it all works. You touch it, it works. There's no lag and I appreciate it. Like when you're driving, the last thing you want is lag when you touch something. Another thing that I really like about the Kia Rio, and this is something I think all cars need to have, the reverse camera, it actually turns with the steering wheel. This is something that many cars need because most times they're turning and the lines are static, but these actually turn with the steering wheel. So I'm going to back into a spot now and you can actually see where I'm going if I turn the steering wheel my projected path so it's actually showing your projected path based on where your steering wheel input is so you could precisely get into spots i think more cars need that feature because even though static lines are useful it still takes a degree of average and these lines turning with the steering wheel actually make it easier for the driver now in conclusion 
would i recommend the kia rio if you are looking at a small compact car yes i see no reason why you shouldn't go after a kia rio even after three years this kia rio still drives like it was brand new now i never driven the car brand new but i have driven many brand new vehicles and i can tell you everything still feels tight the dashboard doesn't creak so i'm gonna tell you something i hate a dashboard that creaks because if i wanted something that creaked I would have bought an old car. I bought a new car because I didn't want to hear creak, creak, creak going down the road. And this one has no creaks when you are driving. My one, my two complaints. Rear visibility could be slightly better. It's because of how the back glass is shaped. You know, it's a kind of smallish back glass. Rear visibility could be better. And the hard plastics on the door, they scratch easily and they look unsightly after a while. But other than that, the Kia Rio is a good vehicle i did not drive it for an hour or two hours i drove it whole afternoon uphill downhill around corners all over and it's not only a comfortable car to drive but it's also fun the fun factor is very important